Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the EZVR. Uh, looks like a very interesting thing for uh, the EZVR shield for the Arduino. Looks like a very interesting thing for um, robot applications. And uh, so this is the, one of the test programs that comes with it. It's called Test EZVR. And I did a video a little bit ago about uh, just some of the some of the things you can do with it and setting up the device. Now I'll talk a little bit more about some of the other things that this uh, shield can do. Looks like it can do quite a bit uh, different things. And um, so there's a bunch of commands here at the top. And uh, the one I've been using a lot is B, cycles through a built-in word set. And uh, it seems to work pretty good for commanding stuff. The other ones I haven't got to work quite as well. But it can do other things as well. Okay, let's let's take a look at the uh, device down here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so we we added some improvements to the robot since uh, the last video that we made, and uh, one of the things is is they have this wires here. We didn't have anything hooked up to it, but uh, there is a uh, I, I got the speaker from Radio Shack when Radio Shack used to be around. It's an 8 ohm speaker, and uh, what it does is it kind of makes beeping sounds when the robot registers things. <clears throat> like if it recognizes a word you say, it will beep, which is kind of nice, so you know that the robot's listening to you. <clears throat> it will also play back weird sounds, like there's uh, something called tokens, where it can make these weird little sounds that uh, it can recognize, and I'll show those in a second, and it can also playback recordings and I haven't got got it to work yet but we'll talk about some of these other interesting things it can do and I hooked it up to a robot body because we're looking to uh, <clears throat> control this robot this is a Bobot and uh, I'll talk about that more probably in the next video and, and issues with hooking it up to that but we're, we're just going to talk about some of the commands that it can do some of the more interesting commands and so we will uh, get to that now we'll talk about the token the n123 command okay so we can uh, <clears throat> play back this weird little tune here we type n123 into our serial monitor and uh, let's let's try something we'll try taking one of our phones here and uh, okay, we'll try taking one of our phones here and we will put it into um, voice recorder oh wait we'll put we want to get the voice recorder so we'll hit that guy we got our voice recorder here and let's try playing uh, that little token sound and we'll record it onto here, like so. So we'll go over and hit the N one two three, N one two three on the keyboard, and then we'll get our recorder set up. So it will record that sound. Okay, let's. Record it this time. So we got a recorder going near the microphone or near the speaker, actually, but near the speaker. And we will record that that weird little sound. Okay. And uh, what I actually did is I recorded a little bit er early on her voice five, so we can play it back. But let's uh, go over here. And it has something called uh, K for detect tokens. And so it puts it into some kind of mode where if you had two of these and you wanted them to talk back to each other, you hit K. And see it says uh, detect a 4-bit token. So let's go over here and try playing this back for the microphone. And see it detects it. Let's try it again. So every time you play that weird so, uh, sound back, it, it uh, registers as detecting that token. 
and it so you could have the, the robots send triggers to each other if you had two of these VR things and kind of have them talk to each other so another thing you can do is uh, there is some different sleep modes uh, that you can cause the thing to shut down until it hears a certain sound and uh, WW puts it into whistle wake up mode so if we go over to the serial monitor thing and hit WW see it's in sleep mode and so if we go over here and we whistle oh, it's stuck in the token mode I'm gonna to have to restart the the serial monitor I'm not sure how to get it out of token mode okay so we'll start restart the serial monitor and uh, let's stick it back into the whistle mode okay so it says it's in sleep mode I'll go over here and whistle for it oh okay it doesn't make a sound but it said it woke up and so there's a couple other sleep modes that it can go go into. W2 is uh, clapping twice. Okay, so if we do that and figure out how to hold the camera, the double clap. Oh, okay, finally. Okay, so see, it woke up, and then it has some other sleep modes where if you make a loud sound, it will wake up. It's also supposed to be able to record sounds and play them back, but I haven't got that working yet, so I'm going to try fiddling with that a little bit more. But anyway, we're making some progress on this. And so... This is, uh, this is our setup here, and this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching. We'll have some more videos on this when we get this robot working, hopefully, and have him commanded. This is the Bobot robot, and I'll talk a little bit more about uh, mating the uh, VR, Easy VR3 with the robot. Okay, well, anyway, this is Dr. Jane's, and thanks for watching.